Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are switching things up a bit and we are going to be playing Democracy 4. Now I did say I'll do this, I didn't see any suggestions in the comments of what you wanted me to do exactly. So I will be playing a new game as America and I will be trying to make America as, as, as communist as possible. Now you may know, you probably don't, that I've already done this on my channel it was in democracy 3 and it didn't really get many views I'm not gonna lie to you but I when I did that I became liberal uh, uh, communist rather than conservative communist which is actual communism rather than democratic socialism so I will be going to conservative uh, like conservative um, conservative communist as true commies would be and our party will just be the commies will be against the moderates and the fascists although the moderates won't actually be there so it'll just be us versus the fascists uh, we're not gonna have compulsory voting all three parties we're gonna have a hundred percent difficulty and a lot of debt just keeping it as it is because it gets very difficult as a moment you slide that at all it becomes borderline impossible now we will be seeing uh, how far we get I may just get carried away and do a whole uh, a whole term I may do a couple years but we shall see uh, so I can do a new job the lives of 328 million citizens are in your hands uh, so our GDP is doing all right it's not bad our health isn't great at all actually well I don't know why that is education is okay not bad unemployment is meh crime is can be low quick so crime really isn't an issue for me and poverty is low why is health so low sorry guys <coughs> that is not covid i just had a drink and it went down the wrong the wrong place um so obesity and pollution okay that makes sense we will be funding uh state healthcare to the max eventually all 362 billion of it Oof but that's later on when we're not in a deficit and we can afford all those social programs. Okay, so let's take a look at some of our issues here. So we have antisocial behavior, which is pretty bad and is making conservatives unhappy. It's lowering liberalism. Tourism is being lowered and crime is being up. Conservatives are 48% of the population and the antisocial behavior is really hurting them but we're also helping them because it's hurting liberal membership so it's kind of good kind of bad but it is costing a bit of money that's not much for america at all but it's still money i'd rather have to spend let's have a look at alcohol abuse so it's costing 17.5 billion okay we want to get rid of this it's lowering our health upping the healthcare demand upping violent crime and upping crime and it's the alcohol consumption uh, we can easily lower that with our alcohol tax to the max, which I might do actually. Because it's good money and get rid of it. Yeah, I'm just going to do that one. It's, it's a bit of an odd one, but the alcohol tax usually just plummets alcohol consumption and we'll basically get rid of this and free up another 12, uh, $17 billion. Now, prison overcrowding because of the amount of crime and the amount of violent crime. That does make sense. What is our crime at? Spiked up. Probably because of antisocial behaviour. Uh, we could probably easily get rid of this by funding prisons. Um, I'll lower the crime first, and then I will see if this actually affects. Like, cause if I lower the crime to nothing and it goes down anyway, there's no need to fund prisons, really, is there? Um, now let's have a look at gridlock gridlock is bad it's hurting my gdp by 8.3 percent is it good we need to get rid of gridlock asap uh because of traffic congestion and that's there because of car usage okay so definitely going to want to work to get rid of this it's hurting us drastically in our gdp and it needs to be gone next thing is illegal immigration crisis uh, and that's because it's hurting our conservatives and patriots. I think we have a lot. Yeah, 38% or 39% sorry 
our Patriots. So that is not good at all. We will want to get rid of that. We need the Patriots on side if we're going to get elected. Uh, the Conservatives, again, aren't happy because of that. And we want them on side as well. Uh, so for the illegal immigration, we could probably just up the border controls if we wanted. That would probably get rid of it almost completely. However, that's political capital I don't have at the moment. Uh, some other problems down here, we have respiratory disease, which is just going to get better as I go in the game, as I l make the environment better and to lower car usage, I'll naturally go down. Obesity, I will be getting rid of this. I usually get rid of it with just a simple um, just a simple junk food tax to the max, usually plummets this. If that doesn't work, I just up plant-based diets and that usually helps. Uh, hospital overcrowding because of the healthcare demand. This will go down once um, once obesity is gone, once illegal immigration is gone, alcohol abuse, respiratory disease. So that this will eventually go down by itself. But when I do uh, state healthcare anyway, this one, yeah, when I do state healthcare anyway, it will get rid of obesity and it will lower hospital overcrowding. In that one there, as you see. So eventually, that will also be gone. Now over here we have a lot of issues as America. We have gig economy, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. We do kind of want the trade unionists on side, however, so it's not a bad thing on the face of it. But we do want the trade unionists on side, and we want car usage down. And this is happening because of payroll tax, unemployment, GDP, and labor laws, which are very pro-employer. We'll, we'll see. We do have technological advantage, which is really good. It's helping our productivity and it's helping our GDP, so that is very good. We do have pollution, which again will naturally go away as I improve the environment, as it's kind of very bad at the moment. Um, we also have uncompetitive economy, which isn't great, but I'll just tariff, and when I put the tariffs in, that will get rid of uncompetitive economy almost completely uh, we do have private space industry which is helping our GDP picture and everyone's happy with that we want to keep this if we can it's a very good one and finally we do have environmental protests simply down to the environment being bad and we will eventually get that up so that's all the issues let's get into this we've already done a alcohol tax at 99% or max or whatever it could be uh, 75 percent which will hurt our inequality actually i didn't realize that but at the end of the day it's only 3.26 percent the poor won't like it poverty will go up however we can count contradict contradict this with food stamps if we want to we're already funding them quite a lot um but the first things first is we do have to get out of the deficit because we need to start getting money so we can spend money that's how this works and obviously as America our main spending is the military so I will be lowering that eventually to because I don't want the Patriots to be unhappy at the top there so I will be defunding it down to about here so get out free up 70 billion to spend on other projects state schools are kind of a necessity um, they are just all around very good um, state pensions are also good but I may lower this or get rid of this because the retired block isn't a very big one so, like voter block I mean because debt interest is our third biggest payment child benefit is our other one which is helping our socialism and all that so I, I will keep this because the socialists like it parents like it poor like it so there's no reason not to um, then alcohol abuse is up there once that is gone that would be good unemployment benefit i will be getting rid of i don't like this it ups unemployment there's no need for it the poor like it and the poor are a big block actually i didn't realize that but hopefully we can get people out of the poor block and into that middle class which is surprising to want to do for communists but we're about equality we rather make everyone poor or everyone can go up to middle class with the wealthy being dragged down worst comes to worst I mean, in our taxes, we will definitely be doing carbon tax eventually, because that is a fantastic tax in this game. We will also probably be doing... 
or is it wealth a wealth tax as well um, in America these things they seem a bit radical but as a socialist America that's probably what we want to do to fund them so we do have eight political capital but we will be ending our turn for now and go actually no I'm gonna try and get these down and I'm going to do that by funding the police which is a bit controversial but I will be funding it in its entirety now I don't want to fund it too much because 20 billion is a lot um, I need to fund it enough that it gets rid of antisocial behaviour we'll put 15 billion into it not the 20 that I wanted though however because that is way too much Okay, so our poverty is rising because of the alcohol tax, but in the long run it will be good for us, I promise. So climate change protocol, the United Nations, no, the United, the United Nations Climate Change Conference, wow that's a word and a half, uh, signed a new protocol to limit the emission of greenhouse gases in industrialised countries. Your country participated in the talks and drove a hard bargain in order not to hard bargain in order not to put too much strain on the economy. Still, ratifying the protocol can be costly, limiting GDP growth and worker productivity. On the other hand, experts claim that it's the only way to save the environment. Do you ratify the protocol? Ratify the protocol. Just in greenhouse gas emissions is a necessary step to make sure our children will be born on a habitable planet. Do not ratify with our economy at stake. We cannot ratify a proposal that prevents growth, productivity and wealth. Other means of protecting the bio or environment will have to suffice. I will be ratifying the protocol. It doesn't actually have a direct impact on the GDP, which is great, but CO2 emissions down by 10% is amazing. The capitalists don't like it, but hopefully, oh, they're a big voting block. Uh, but hopefully, they'll be gone soon, like not gone, but minimized to the minority. Uh, the polls do say we'll get 53% of the vote if there was an election um, at the moment. The poor not on there. I don't voter types. I don't get it. But anyways, we will this turn as promised be defunding the military. Uh, still want the patriots to like me. I'll go down to a hundred billion. They just get a small little snag in their likeness towards me. Um, but it's worth it at the end of the day. So crime is down. Perfect. Uh, poverty did have that little spike but it's flat 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 lined now <laughs> sorry okay ban tobacco adverts there was a proposal for a law to outlaw the advertising of tobacco although it would remain legal to advise on billboards and other means a TV ban is seen as a potential way to reduce it so this is I think if I do this like tobacco usage will go down and I think our health will go up if I do this, I think liberals will be happy. So I will be approving the ban. Okay, so tobacco usage did go down and liberals despised that. Okay. But at the end of the day, tobacco usage is more important. <laughs> uh, security briefing. Okay, so there are no terrorist groups as of yet, but there are some groups. The Evangelical, Evangelical Alliance. Uh, we will be getting religious on our side because they are actually 55% of the population. Whether we have to cancel gay marriage to do that, I don't mind. But <laughs> I don't believe in that in real life, but if that's what I need to do to get them on side, that's what I'll do at the end of the day. Uh, yeah, so hospital overcrowding is lowering slowly as crime is being dropped by the new police force we've funded. Uh, we are still in a deficit because the uh, military spending budget goes down slowly in like increments, which isn't great, but we'll do. Okay, so what do we want to get rid of next? We can either get rid of gridlock or uncompetitive economy. So uncompetitive economy affects GDP and capitalists. This hurts motorists, commuters, motorists and GDP by more than what that one does. So I will be attacking gridlock next. And the way I do that is by doing congestion charging. Now the motorists don't like this and their income does dip. But they they'd rather have that than have um, gridlock as shown by this because gridlock is a huge one. Traffic congestion is a huge one. 
and if I just charge congestion it will lower both of them if I need to I will up the uh, road building because car usage isn't bad as long as you up if as long as you fund electrical cars and those sort of initiatives that that's when it becomes alright um, now as promised I will be doing a junk food tax of 90% as you can see it lowers obesity by 29% ups poverty again but that is fine everything is fine with poverty guys don't worry about it <coughs> so our GDP sorry <coughs> So sorry about this guys, um, so our GDP has actually rised a bit, um, I'm not quite sure why but I'm not complaining, our health has risen a little bit with the junk food tax, perfect, our crime has massively dropped and poverty once again is actually dropping, okay, that is surprising, alcohol abuse is gone, national sports guard gagged by foreign power, when, s when sports our business athletes need to check their contracts before speaking their mind a groveling apology was issued to a foreign superpower who took exception to the voice for a protest movement in their country okay that's not good the patriots didn't like that oh major donor it looks like you have not been keeping an eye on the opinions of major financial backers one of the wealthy donors has just cut their support for your party this may have an effect on our ability to campaign effectively unless we can find a replacement donor and keep them Okay, tonight's news headlines. All over the country there are bright, intelligent students who this year will be denied a chance to study at university. Why? Well the answer is simple. Those students come from poor families with absolutely no money available from the government in the form of university grants. They are about to find out that education is not something the poor are entitled to in this country. It's a disgrace. It makes me ashamed to be a citizen. The government is denying me any hope for the future, one student tells us. So they want university grants. Um, I do grants for poor students because I don't want to don't want to spend too much on it, but I do want equally want to have it. The our GDP is rising with the global economy, which is good. Let's go back to here. Uh, Fifty-one percent of the vote. We have dipped a little bit but it's worth it. Budget report, we're in a surplus. That's good. The, the Evangelical Alliance are holding town call meetings to express their anger. That's not good. The Rural Alliance has increased. The Evangelical Alliance has actually decreased, which is good. Um, let's have a look at this. Nobody wants to kill me yet, right? Yeah, nobody wants to quite kill me yet. So I am safe for a little bit. Um, I need to do something to make the religious happy. Or I could fund free school meals. Mm, which I think I will do. Uh, next turn I will make the happy. So antisocial behaviour and prison overcrowding is gone. So I was correct. If we lower crime enough, the prison overcrowding won't be an issue. So we don't actually have to fund prisons. So that is all good. Poverty has dipped pretty very drastically since the introduction of free school meals so that is also good GDP again is rising which is always good and everything else has stayed the same right some of our religious citizens left our country to fight in a religious war overseas a war that in many ways threatens the interests of and security the fighting has now ended and the fighters have expressed their regret to their, for their actions and desire to return home we can either block them when our citizens leave this country and fight among our enemies abroad, they lose any claim to citizenship and right to live here. Under no circumstances should they be allowed back, not even to stand trial. It would be an insult to other soldiers and security services, or allow them to return. It's a difficult principle to, to defend, but we have to accept that our citizens are citizens, even when they commit crimes abroad, or in this case, even take up arms against us. By all means, prosecute them for their actions, but we cannot deny them citizenship because we find it inconvenient. So this looks like a liberal religious issue versus patriot conservative. I will be going this way because, oh, that was not good. I thought the religious would like that because they're a religious citizen. Oh, that's not the outcome I was expecting. That's not good at all. 
In other news, we are now 60% of the vote, but even so. Even so, that was not good. The poor do love me. The poor do love me. We need to, <laughs> we need to up their membership somehow. <laughs> um, obviously, that's not actually possible. But traffic grow gridlock is about to go because traffic congestion is dipping. Um, motorists will be happier and they will probably end up being sort of indifferent with me. Uh, the next issue we're going to tackle, well, how's obesity? Obesity is dropping slowly, very, very slowly. And I said I was going to go with the religious on side, so let's get the religious on side. I am worried, no, like, I don't IRL, but in the game of the ethnic minorities becoming IRL, because the more ethnic minorities there are, and the more I support religion, the more tension goes up. So I'm actually going to change to our target and focus on illegal immigration and I'm going to be upping border patrols to armed guards for now and uh, get rid of illegal immigration, lower immigration, lower the minority uh, like uh, immigration to the country and so the religious can be more so. Where are they? Yeah. Let's take a look. Faith school subsidies. We, we can fund that a bit more if they'd like. I will, another thing I'll be doing is upping the secularity, or lowering the secularity of religion to fundamentalist eventually, I, I just don't want the liberals to be upset with me, so I need to lower their membership before doing that. Gridlock is now gone, that is perfect, GDP continues to rise, and our credit rating is also in the credit, which is actually amazing. Um, we will be facing water shortage next turn if we don't do something. Okay. Uh, our budget has a hundred billion surplus. That is great. Our debt is starting to be eaten into. Uh, military spending is now a hundred billion as well. That is perfect. Uh, Fifty-eight percent of the vote was a little bit of a drop, but even so, that's worth it. Um, the Evangelical Alliance are still holding town hall meetings. I need to make them happy. So, how's that looking on illegal immigration then? Border controls, I will be upping to the max. I need it gone. Again, that's not what I think in real life, but even so, it needs to happen in this. Otherwise, they're going to take over. And we don't want that. Why are you so unhappy? Because you're environmentalist religious. Okay, I'm dedicating all of my points next turn to the religious. This isn't good. GDP is going down. Health is going down. Education is going down. Poverty is rising. Crime is still going down. And unemployment has risen. Why? Water shortage. Only 43% of the vote this time. Right. I mean, that's good. Ministerial oh. resignation, that's not good. I have no idea why the government does this. The words of Hayley Baker when describing the daily suffering of her elderly mother in acute and constant pain from an incurable condition that has turned her life into living hell. The government still opposes right to die. They need to look into my mother's eyes, see the suffering they are causing. It's unbearable. I would do it for them. However, it's, it does, um, it increases liberalism. So, sorry, not sorry. Oh, there's going to be, no, there's not an election next turn. Never mind. So. I know I said I'd focus on the religious. However, health needs to rise. We have 140 billion, so we can go up to about 115 with a bit of leftover. Um, and we also need to hire someone new. I'm going to do a uh, cabinet reshuffle next turn, I think. I think I'm going to have to do that because they are not getting me what I need. Okay, people smuggling. A large number of people have been caught entering our country hidden inside cargo containers in an organised attempt at people smuggling. The 
criminals who mastermind the scheme have now been arrested, but there is debate as to whether those who are now on our shores should be sent back, allowed to stay. There is a strong evidence that these people were desperate to flee persecution, poverty, or even death in their own country. These are desperate people, as we can see from the lengths, from the lengths they went to get here. It would be inhumane to deport them, or we can deport them. Letting these people stay would send out entirely the wrong signal to people who want to come here illegally. We have enough of a problem with illegal economic migrants as it is. Unfortunate though it may be, the only sensible choice is to send them back. I agree, I think it seems to be a conservative patriot issue versus liberals, so I will be supporting them. So the liberals didn't like that, it's not surprising. Conservatives and patriots liked it, that's good. Ethnic minorities obviously didn't, although illegal immigration went down and strong leader went up. So overall, I think that is right. Now, the Avengers of Mother Earth are now a terrorist organization. Time to fund a bunch of intel services to protect me. I was going to put it towards religious, but I'm afraid the liberals and uh, environmentalists are now trying to kill me. There is now an ethnic plot. Oh gosh. The multicultural warriors are now coming after me. Which isn't good whatsoever. I need drones or something. This guy's unhappy. Crime is at an all time low. Uh, new oil pipeline. Right, we'll do that afterwards. Because. This is all going wrong. Okay. So we need drones, or something to protect me, and I can't even afford any of them, because my cabinet is abysmal. So, I'm going to reshuffle and hope I don't die. Maybe not him, he can stay. Patriot, I can downsource environmentalist socialist, I can make them happy. Uh, parents are self-employed, I can also make them happy, and... Um, middle income, yeah, just lower the income tax. Okay, new oil pipeline. A proposed pipeline now con con connects extensive oil sands in Canada of refineries in Illinois and Texas requires federal government approval. The pipeline is controversial because it would increase oil extraction and hasten climate change, and also because it would cross the territories of many Native American tribes. Grab it, approve it. No large infrastructure project would ever need, would ever be approved if the government gave in to every protest. Like it or not, the economy needs fossil fuels. Cancel it. Is there any justification? Okay. I need environmentalists to be happy. I'm sorry, capitalists. It 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 needs to happen. Okay, is there anything else we can do? Pollution is bad. Water shortage is going down actually. Competitive. Let's go back over the water shortage. Why is it going down exactly? I don't know and I don't mind. Uh, environmental protests are going up. Gig economy has sort of stayed the same. That's. Oh, we're about to lose private space industry. I could do that, but it's not exactly worth it. It's not doing anything. Hospital overcrowding may actually be gone once state healthcare gets its full funding. Respiratory disease has stayed the same. Obesity is going down slowly. Any good policies we can enact? Health food subsidies actually. That lowers obesity a lot. Ups that, lowers food price. Yeah, we will be doing that. Okay, well that'll be the end of this video. I will just show you, sorry, you can hear my dog in the background. Sorry about that. Uh, in the polls, we're not doing great. We have time to recover. Our compass, we have become more liberal. Uh, however, we do actually want to become up here. So, we'll see. Disposable income is all with the poor, except a few wealthy people. So, Voter types, the Patriots like me, that is always good, I need the Patriots on my side. Uh, if I can up their membership, that would also be good. Uh, sorry, back here. Uh, changes, crime is down, we'll look at all this in more detail. Here's the gist of it for half of my first term, which will hopefully have many more, but I can't guarantee would be the 
Avengers of Mother Mother Earth try and kill me. However, we will see next time if they do actually end up assassinating me next round. I will save it right now as Kami USA. And you will have to wait till next time to see if the environmentalists or the multicultural warriors end up killing me. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. My next video will probably be a political machine one. I'll probably alternate between that and this one. Well, this series. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.